So I had been incarcerated basically since my junior year in high school. For one, when I first got to prison, I never seen anybody go home. It was around like seven or eight years ago that you started seeing people with life sentences go home. At first it was just like, okay, that's an outlier. That's an anomaly. This dude was different. He was lucky. Then it just started happening more and more often. But I think the difference is that it's showing the work that the average incarcerated person is putting in. Like guys aren't just sitting there like thinking of and devising different ways to like smuggle in drugs and stab each other. That's not what the average prisoner is in there doing. They're figuring out ways to better themselves so they can get back in society and like contribute. Everybody has the right to be safe. Everybody has the right to have a quality of life that doesn't involve them worrying about whether or not somebody's gonna hurt them. And so from that perspective, I look at CDCR as, you know, like we're all stakeholders. Like what affects me is gonna affect you. It's gonna affect everybody else in this society. I mean, there's no like, there's, there's, there shouldn't be these separations like they are. And for me, it just makes sense to want to collaborate and help people who are sharing the same thing that I have access to.